Danans, welcome to Let's Play Friday. My name is Ian. This week we are playing Mortal Kombat Mythologies Sub-Zero. Now this is a very divisive game. Not a lot of people uh, enjoy this game. The Angry Video Game Nerd actually did an episode on this game saying why it's so terrible. Uh, I'm not, I don't think I'm in that camp. I kind of like this game. I think it's cool. The, the controls are fucking weird. Um, okay, R2 is run. The controls are weird, and there's some very difficult shit in this game. Like, I don't remember how to pick that thing up. Okay, it was L2. Uh, one of the things that's weird is it's the Mortal Kombat engine. So the controls are the same as Mortal Kombat, but it's a side-scroller. It's a side-scroller platformer. And you have to fucking, you have to press L2 to goddamn turn around. <laughs> so let's say homie gets behind you, you gotta turn around to hit him, or else you're fucked. As you can see, I'm already down to like no health, and we're coming up on a spot where these things are gonna come down from the ceiling and try to smash us. I think that's one right there. Uh, I don't know how to trigger it. There it is. Okay, see? God damn it. Did I have to get killed there? Is that was that the only way to move forward? Maybe I'm. <laughs> maybe I just haven't played this game in a while. And through this let's play, I'll be like, yeah, this game sucks, everybody else is right. I don't remember how to do the freeze move, or maybe I don't have it yet. I am questioning why this game is so hard right off the bat. God damn it, I can't hit that guy with one fucking spinning wheel kick. We know there's another... Okay, we just gotta run. Okay. Um... Okay, I have an idea. Maybe we should throw a high kick to trigger it. And then... Dude! Seriously! I can't land one fucking wheel kick on that guy. Okay, he's fucking dead. Let's go. So this time... Okay, we can trigger it with a high kick. Let's do it again. Here we go. Now there's another one. Trigger... Oh, uh, oh, uh, uh... I got really nervous there. Jesus Christ. Oh, dude. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this game is really hard. I don't remember how to... There we go. Thank you. Now, it, this game, on top of being uh, a side-scroller RPG, the first ever in the Mortal Kombat... Whoa! Sword! First ever of its kind for Mortal Kombat. Um, it's also an RPG. So you level up your moves. You notice I gain that freeze ability. Now, Dan Hans, if you haven't played this before, what do you do here? Well, you can't jump over the edge. You have to teeter, tap, and then you can do a sunset flip to the outside. Is that a health potion? How do we use the health potion, though? Let's try and find out. Okay. Potion. Triangle use. Did I use it? Okay, well, what did it do? Herbs. Use. Okay. So the, you have to go into the menu to use the stuff. Which isn't so bad for its time. I mean, Resident Evil... Why is he so close to the edge of the screen? You know what I mean? Like... Couldn't I be in the middle of the screen, like where I'm standing now? That way it wouldn't be so fucking hard to, like, know where these homies was gonna be. I don't trust what's on the other side of the door. Yep, see? I knew it. Fuck off, dude. Another guy! Where did he come from? Bitch ass. Okay. Oh, what I was gonna do... Ah! Okay, he knows what I was trying to do. Oh, why did he not get crushed? Ah! Dude, where do these guys keep coming from? I gotta go. Fucking motherfucker! <laughs> oh, I thought maybe I'd have time if I just sprinted. I knew you were gonna be there this time, dude. I don't think so. There's a dude in there! Fuck you! Fuck you! Trigger it! Trigger it! Got him. Crushed him. So, ah! 
Back up trick. Oh, mother fucking god damn it. <laughs> this might not be a very long episode. <laughs> oh, I gained the... Was that the slide ability? Oh, it would help if I knew how to do it, but I don't. Okay. Homie in here. Got him. Ah! Okay. So how can I... How close do I have to be to trigger it and not get knocked back? There we go. That's how close. Fuck you, dude. Okay, so let's see what's over here before we climb that rope. No, you know what? He's over there. Let's climb the rope. Climb the rope, please, sub -Zero. Look at that, all arms, pure upper body strength. Unbelievable. That's that rope that we saw earlier in that first room we walked through. Danians, I've played this game a lot growing up. I am pretty familiar with it. I would say maybe I've gotten like 30 to 45% of the way through this game over the years. I've never beaten it though. What the fuck did I come all the way up here for? If there's nothing here. What a waste of time. I, I, there used to be something to do in there. I thought there was like a power up or something. Okay, we gotta take our time because there's gonna be crusher gimmicks. Oh shit, scorpion boss battle. I need herbs. Oh, I used, I wasted one. Oh God. Look how much health he has, dude. Fuck, he's a tricky dicky. Ha! Oh, I thought I trapped him! Oh no, get out of my face, get out of my way. He kinda just stands still. Like, does anybody else notice that? He's not, like, he's not being offensive at all, he's like straight up counter punching. Fuck you! Oh, I thought I killed him. That'll do it. Spare me. I will spare you simply because I don't know how to do the fatality. Okay, so I beat him. Go over here. Take the gimmick. Now it opens the thing. See, I was right before. I was right before when I thought we should hold off on the uh, climbing of the rope, but I climbed it anyway, you know what I'm saying? So now we're gonna get up to the top and I believe that will open us up to the next level, which should trigger a possibly hilarious cutscene along the way. Cause this game had, it was PS1, it was like early PS1, so it had live action uh, cutscenes. And some of the acting is just atrocious. Let's see what we got here. I love it. Grandmaster, in honor of the Lin Kuei, I bring you this sacred map of elements. Once again, our most cunning assassin and thief is successful. At ease, Lin Kuei warrior. Greetings. I see the ninja has been successful in retrieving my map, as I have foreseen. Let's get something straight. I am not a ninja. I am Lin Kuei. Scorpion was a ninja. Ah, yes. Your Japanese counterpart. How unfortunate that you happened upon him in your battle with those pesky Shaolin monks. Scorpion was tipped off. He knew I was breaking into that temple, and if he wasn't there, there wouldn't have been a battle. You are responsible for this sorcerer. Well, I've also retained Scorpion's services. In case you failed, I needed some assurance. Your peace of mind almost cost me this mission. Enough! Quan Chi, tell me, what about our payment? Oh yes, I, I almost forgot. The bones of your arch nemesis, and leader of Scorpion's ninja clan. <laughs> our ancient foes vanquished in one transaction. I've personally made certain 
that every last remnant of their clan has been eliminated forever. Quan Chi Rusa. You see, Sub Zero, you can trust a sorcerer sometimes. Now, you will use this map on your next mission. Quan Chi has once again retained your services. This map you saw. It shows the way to a temple. Sweet black fingernail polish on Quan Chi. I always thought his makeup was really cool too. For thousands of years, the Temple of Elements has been hidden in what is now known as the Himalayan Mountains of Nepal. This map is the only evidence of its existence. Fine. I get to the temple, and then what? What's inside? A small amulet. Worthless to you, but let's just say it has great sentimental value to me. If it is so precious, why don't you get it yourself? I cannot enter the temple until the four elements within its walls have been defeated. And I am not on the best of terms with the gods of your realm, especially your god of thunder. Tell me about these elements. This is a long fucking cutscene, isn't it? Elements which comprise the very existence of your realm. They are earth, wind, water, and fire. With your mastery of the element of cold, you have an advantage that no other human has, and that is the ability to defeat the elements. I have received. Oh god, this is the fucking wind temple level. This is where the game. The fucking difficulty of this game really ramps up. And we're gonna have probably a loading screen here. And during this loading screen, I want to tell the Dan to go to iTunes or SoundCloud and listen to the 616 Entertainment Podcast, which goes up every Wednesday. Do I want to save my game? No! <laughs> Listen to the 616 Entertainment Podcast every Wednesday. We're not a podcast about anything. We're not a wrestling podcast. We're not a gaming podcast. It's myself, the artist formerly known as Mike Charles, and Dan Dans, which are our friends. And we just hang out. We have a good fucking time. It's a conversation between friends. So if you're tired of shows that are like, oh, they only talk about movies, they only talk about games, that's not what our show is. Our show is about the Wind Temple. <laughs> <laughs> now, Dan Dan's, this level is so fucking hard. This is like, this is one of the hardest games I've ever played. And the thing is, certain parts of this, you have to wait for the wind to kick up to carry you to the next platform, like it is right over there. But sometimes you don't know whether you can make it or not. I don't know if I can make that jump. I don't think I can. I think I need the wind to help me. But there's no pattern. It just comes and goes whenever it wants. But it's, it's not showing up, so let's try it, I guess. See, that one we can make. Jump, kick, knock off. But this one we need the win, just like that, to carry us across. Um, now we gotta be careful, because homies is gonna show up and try and fight us. And then there's parts of this where... Hut! Oh no! See? I was gonna say, there's parts of this where it gets really rickety as soon as you stand on it. And you fall to your death if you're not careful. Now this is my last life, Dan Dance. And I hate to disappoint you, but I'm gonna play- Fuck. Fuck this guy. Ah! I'm only gonna play for one game over. So, when, the next time I die, it's over. Get out of here. We need the wind, we need the wind, we need the wind. Sorry if you can hear that dinging and vibrating in the background. My fucking text messages and my phone and my computer going off. Should I have muted it and been more professional? Yeah. Did I do it? No. I forgot. So, here we go. Gotta move. Gotta keep going. Oh no! Son of a fucking bitch. Fuck this game, man. It's too hard. Dan is, this was Let's Play Friday. <laughs> My name is Ian. This was Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub-Zero. If you can find it for cheap, pick it up and give it a shot. You'll see how hard it fucking is. I love you. I'll see you next week.